this tutorial, we're going to morph from one still image to another. In this case, the Audi is going to morph into the VW. You can download the project called Still to Still Morph and work along with me, or you can try this on your own after watching this tutorial. First, I want to start by saying that if you're doing a Still to Still Morph, you want to make sure that your two stills match relatively well. If you need to make adjustments, like scaling or rotating or repositioning, you should do that before morphing. Since you're using the stills that I provided, I've already done that for you. I'm going to show you the result first, so you know what we're planning to do, and then we'll break it down. Let's see how that was done. I covered the basic concepts of open and closed splines and how to animate the splines in the reflex warp tutorials. So you should watch those first if you don't have a basic understanding of these concepts. The difference that you will notice when we do a morph compared to the warp is that the from and to geometries come from the same masks or splines but at different points in time instead of having two from pairs of masks. Reflex also has another tool called Reflex Motion Morph that we will see in another tutorial later. With Reflex Motion Morph, you can morph from one video sequence to another video sequence. And that works more like the warper with the spline pairs. OK, let's get back to our Still to Still Morph now. We will start with our From Still at frame 0. Now, if we go to the end of our timeline to our last frame, in this case frame 30, we have our to still. We will make a new comp by dragging this pre-comp to the new composition icon. We can now add reflex morph to our pre-comp. What reflex morph will do is create the in-between frames by interpolating and synthesizing new frames. Now we can go to the effects controls panel and put the display on warped and blended to make sure we're looking at the image as it's morphing. In order to set up a morph, we need to tell Reflex Morph where the key images are. In this case, they are at frame 0 and frame 30. So first make Picture Key an animated setting by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Then set keyframes for Picture Key to On at frame 0 and 30. We need to let Reflex Morph create in-between frames at frames 1 through 29. In order to do this, we must set Picture Key to Off at frames 1 through 29. By setting a keyframe at frame 1 to Off, the value of Picture Key will have the value of Off until the next keyframe. To make this easier to understand, let's call an image in the sequence a Picture Key. The morpher only creates warped images and blended, if, if selected, as frames between picture keys that are set to on. In other words, Reflex Morph creates in-between frames when picture key is set to off at frames that are in-between picture key on keys. Get it? Now that you understand what the picture keys are, it should make sense that this is where we create our splines on the features we want to match up to the two picture keys that are set to on. Let's go ahead and draw a mask at our first picture key at frame 0. For this image, I'm mostly using open splines, but you can use both open or closed. Select the pen tool or use the keyboard shortcut G on the Mac or Windows. Go ahead and draw closed and open splines around the features you want to match to the features at the next picture key. If you draw a closed spline, remember to change the mask type to none. Also, you will need to animate each of these splines whether they are open or closed, so make sure to select the stopwatch to activate the keyframes and set a key. You can go ahead and create your masks set keyframes, name them, and then meet me back here. Now, we will go to the next picture where picture key is set to on. So everything from here, frame 1 to frame 29, will be a warped and blended or morphed frame. When we get to frame 30, picture key is set to on again. 
So this would be the to image, or what the Audi is morphing to, the VW. So we want to adjust the splines to match the similar features on the VW. If we do a RAM preview, we see that Reflex Morph automatically creates these in-between frames by warping and cross-dissolving the images, or morphing. One more little thing that I want to explain. You might wonder what the warp to and from settings are for. They are really for debugging purposes and allow you to see the warped images at a particular point along the morph and can be useful when one of the images is not warping nicely. For example, folding over inappropriately or getting too squished. Similarly, you can see the two source images as well using the unwarped to and from display settings, although those image settings are a bit less useful since you know that the source images occur at your picture keys. See, that wasn't so hard to understand after all. You can always take a look at the result project I also provided in the After Effects project you downloaded. So this is how we do a still-to-still -still morph using Reflex Morph.